Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very special edition Saturday afternoon stream. You know, I, I figured streaming every day of the week uh, wasn't enough because I have decided I am going to become a chess grandmaster. I had uh, Liam here slide into my DMs. He said he was willing to give me a chess lesson. And I said, what else am I going to do on a Saturday afternoon? So welcome Liam from chess.com. I knew you were official because you were from chess.com. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing fantastic. Thank you so much for doing this, Pete, the man, you know, the many personas you have. Excited to teach a lesson today. Even brought some special effects to the stream for the people. Get a little bit of the... Oh, okay. we, are, we are upping the broadcast quality. It's an electric Saturday. A good day to be great. Yeah, so what? So tell me, like... Let people in because that we we've talked for about five minutes before this started. We had never interacted before. How did you isolate me as uh, someone to send me through your chest torture chamber? <laughs> well, so you know, about four years ago, I discovered the man's <laughs> on YouTube, and I was watching, you know, your content, um, gearing up to go to Vegas myself. I thought you were an electric, uh, you know, guy back then. I thought. Honestly, I check back on those videos and I'm shocked that they don't have millions of views yet. I watch them and audibly laugh out loud. So I, I discovered you through the mans and then uh, rediscovered you recently through DFS community and was shocked that you were the same person. Sparked my my band's interest right back up. Um, I, stream, I was a chess coach in New York City. I stream chess for Chess Kid, which is basically a chess.com's kid company. Um, and I'm starting up my own stream here, and I thought you would be an electric first guest to give a lesson to and play some chess with. All right. Lots of pressure for me to be electric today. I, I have a feeling that I'm going to be way more frustrated. You already asked me before. You're trying to get, like, try to figure out how much chess knowledge I have. And I'm even already worried that I oversold just by saying I know how the pieces move. So that's what today is going to be like. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I don't think the people want to sit through an hour long lesson. So I think we'll cut the lesson to 10 minutes or so. And then we'll just jump into playing the chess. And of course, you know, something I was telling you is I've noticed that for your shows, you're always a great, you know, interviewer of the guests. And I think people want to peel back the curtain a little bit, know a little bit more about, you know, Mr. Overzet himself and get to learn more about your life. Wow, wow, man, this is like, it sounds like I, I'm getting a free chess lesson and like <laughs> a free therapy lesson. I just go sit on the couch back there and you're just going to kind of let me uh, talk. This sounds great. All right. So if we do we want to pull up the chess board yeah. here so we can jump right in? It, well, tell people too, like how, like, how do you get, like, what's your official title at chess.com? Do you work full time for them or, or what's the deal? Yeah. So uh, I work for Chess Kid and I'm a full time employee. I was, again, I was a chess coach in New York City, ran a strong chess program. My, uh, I, I worked in Washington Heights and then the South Bronx. My kids competed at nationals, girls nationals, grade nationals. We were a strong up and coming program. Then obviously the pandemic hit. We were about to go to the state championship, um, put, you know, over the board chess on hold. And, you know, Chess Kid is a program that I use to train my kids. I saw an ad for them on chess.com. I figured I'd apply. Um, I do a lot of things for them. Sometimes I meet with other teachers, help them set up their accounts. I'll make uh, video content for them on their on the Chess Kid YouTube or the Chess Kid Twitch, and um, you know, just having a great time with that. What is like? What is the? Because um, I know you know streaming chess and with all the variations with speed chess and stuff is is very popular. What makes a good chess streamer is it is it the intersection of entertainment value and really elite play or is it just like if you're an entertaining host I, i'm curious what kind of ceiling do i have as a chess streamer because i'm worried about the play side but maybe i could get there on the entertainment side i would say you know it's 98 percent entertainment um i myself so, so chess has a rating you know it's not a big luck game it's a, you know it's a skill game um i'm about 2000 fide which, you know, like to give you some perspective, a grandmaster is like 2,500 feet a, um, but you know, it's an exponential graph where I would have to commit eight hours of study every day for years off my life to even attempt to become a grandmaster. And maybe I couldn't, you know, there's, there's more PhDs in the world than grandmasters. So you don't even know if you can really reach that skill. But my point is I was not the strongest chess player in my network of schools, but uh, my kids were the best at chess because 
you know, I just made it entertaining, made it fun. The kids wanted to learn. So I think entertainment is far more important than the skill. Um, you know, chess.com put on a great series called pog champs where they basically invite different streamers on to run in a tournament. And, you know, some of those guys have taken up streaming chess occasionally afterwards. And, you know, their videos have far more viewers than some of the best chess players in the world. All right. Well, uh, I'm excited here. I think I, I should probably learn how to play before I have aspirations of uh, taking down Magnus on Twitch, right? There you go. All right. So, I mean, we're going to assume that people know how the pieces move. If you don't, um, you know, hit up the Chess Kid, account, uh, Chess Kid YouTube. That can help you with that. But basically going to give you a real quick strategy lesson. And then we'll jump into playing some chess together. Let's so do the first, uh, there's three things you must do at the start of a chess game if you're going to be a good chess player. You have to control the center of the board. You have to develop your pieces. And when I'm talking about your pieces, I'm talking about your minor pieces, your knights and your bishops. You know, they say chess is a war. You need to get your soldiers out onto the field. And the third thing you must do is you must get your king safe by castling him. I would tell the kids the king's an old man. He doesn't like to be in the center of the board, which gets ripped open. So you tuck him in the corner. All right, okay. Peter, quick test. What are the three things you must do at the start of a chess game? Okay, uh, we need to control the center of the board. There you um, go. We need to castle the king. Uh-huh, king safety. And safety. I think I looked at the chat during the second one. Okay, all right. It, we got to get your pieces out. Almost we got to get our important. pieces out. Sun's nice out, guns bishop. out. Sun's out, out, guns pieces out. out. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. And you know, and to ask you a question before we jump into this, because you know, again, you are such a good interviewer, is how did you really start with, you know, making your content? I've noticed you did some stand-up for the man's. Was it just like were you a poker, you know, fan? Were you a DFS fan? How did you get into making content? Yeah, my my main start was I did a bunch of improv. Um, and then I met people um through that. And then that kind of gave me the confidence to be like, hey, I don't want to just do a performance on a stage then that has no um shelf life. Once you do it, it's gone. So then started doing podcasting and all of that stuff. And then the man's just kind of had all of his interests in poker, DFS, crypto. So he's just kind of bounced around and then uh yeah, have just uh really uh, spiraled from there, I guess. All right, I love it. All right, so my first move here was e4. Okay. So I'm, this move is a is a dual purpose move. It's controlling the center of the board because I have a pawn on the center, and I'm attacking a center square. And it's also letting my pieces get out. My bishop and my queen can now see the board. So what's a move you think you can make that could achieve similar results? Well, what what happens if I were to just kind of mirror your move here? So play it. So this move is, uh, I wouldn't say it's mirroring. Like a mirroring move would be to play, um, would be to like instead to put your pawn on e5 here because oh, then gotcha. you too yeah, yeah. can move your bishop and your queen. You're attacking the center of the board. But what you were playing here is actually what we call the Sicilian defense where you're controlling the center with a non-center pawn, a bit advanced though. So I would say maybe just play the move e5 here, you know, let your pieces get out on the board. Um, are you impressed that, uh, I was actually contemplating a Sicilian defense to open? I mean, I can tell you've done your research. That's what any, any good guest would do. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, um, I've watched, uh, Queen's Gambit. And so I kind of wanted to, uh, enact that one really soon into my play. Well, there you go. Queen's Gambit making chess sexy for the public folk. Uh, you know, chess is like taking a boom from that show. So we owe a lot to the Queen's Gambit. Yeah, um, I bet. What are what have been the traffic numbers on chess.com since that show came out? I don't and know just, if I'm allowed to disclose exactly, but I would estimate three to five times uh traffic in the in in the uh in the servers from from pre-pandemic. And it was just kind of a perfect storm. You know, obviously the pandemic uh forced a lot of people to stay home, and then Queen's Gambit piqued the interest of people. And chess is cool and fun. So once people start playing, they like to, you know, they like to keep doing it. Okay, so now I have mirrored you here in this move, um, and now it's uh, it's back in your court. It's my turn, and you know, again, I want to get a piece out and attack the center. So I'm going to put my knight on f3 here, and notice that by putting my knight, you know, knights are not flexible pieces. They really only have one square they like to go to usually at the start. You don't want to put your knight on like the edge of the board where you're, you know, you can't go. You're attacking squares that are not in the center. Your knight can't even go off the board there. 
But I put my knight here. I attack the center of the board. I got a piece out. I'm one step closer to castling. So we're doing all three of the things we must do at the start of the game with one move. Now, my knight's also attacking your pawn. Yeah. How can you get a piece into the game and defend your pawn? So I wonder, like my thought here is I don't want to move the pawn, but I want to put something in place where I could take down you if you do go for my pawn. Am I thinking about that correctly? Yeah, you, that is great. You know, you're on your way to mastery right there. So what, what, what move would achieve that? Well, I could move this guy here, right? Putting your bishop to d6 is an option. However, not considered the best move because if you put your bishop on d6, what you'll be doing is you'll be blocking your d7 pawn, not allowing it to go forward. And okay. so this comes at an opportunity cost, right? Um, if, if this pawn can't move, you can't get this bishop in the game. Mm. So usually we say we like to move our knights before our bishop. So can you think of a move by moving your knight that would defend your pawn? So let's see here. If you were taking out this um, and I still need to... I need to clear something for here. So would I, if I bring, I guess that would make that vulnerable. No. So we wanna, still, how can I, you move a knight and defend that pawn? Because this is your F pawn. Uh, good. We just don't move that at the start of the game. If you move your ooh. F pawn, you weaken. Oh, oh, okay. Now let's look at where that knight's attacking. Is it defending your pawn? Oh no, I was one off. No, no, it's not. Yeah. So let's let's put that knight back. God. Okay. How about your other knight? Hide. You guys see the whole. There we oh, go. Oh, now we go. Now we're good. Now we're protecting. All right. All so right. it was just mirroring you again, basically. Well, we're you know you're you're not symmetrical. Like I would talk about yeah. symmetry to the kids, where it's like I I. You know, you're a bit asymmetrical. Where my knight's on this side of the board, your knight's over here. Your knight is defending this pawn. And just to tell you and the viewers, you know, the pieces have a point value to them. And the point values only matter for, um, you know, thinking through good trades. So we say the pawns are worth one point. The knights and bishops are both worth three points. Rooks are worth five. And queens are worth nine. Okay. So I would not take this pawn here because then you would get a three-point piece in return. So I would give you... I would only get one point for three points. All right. Uh, now I'm going to play bishop c4. Again, I'm developing a piece. I'm attacking the center. Mm. I'm pointing my bishop at your king, which is, this is the weak point, because only you defend it. And I'm getting closer to castling. Remind, so, me, remind me again, uh, castling, getting your king into the corner? Yeah, we'll show you that next. Okay. So let's just say, like, a good move for you, just in the interest of time, um, really could be any sort of move. You could put your knight here. You could put your bishop here. Again, we don't want to put our bishop here blocking our pawn. Um, but let's say you played the move like bishop c5. Kind of mirroring it, it to use your words there, but not really. Um, and now my king can castle. So castling is when you move the pieces between the king and the rook. You have not moved your king. You have not moved your rook. And your king is not in danger. You can castle. So my king can move one, two and the rook goes next to it. You Wait, that, that just happened in one move? That's that a lot. just happened in one move. Yeah, you just swap them there. Wow. You can also castle on the queen side of the board. So if all of these pieces move, your king would go where this bishop is, and this rook would go here. Okay, I didn't even know that that was a move within <laughs> the realm because I thought the king can only move one one space at a time. I, unless they uh, castle here, and you know, are there me, any other quirk rules? Oh, outside? there are there are other quirk rules. Absolutely, um, other quirk rules include on passant. Where let me just show you that. Vincent just uh, called that in the chat here. Look at my. I have a, a following <laughs> of chess savants. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? Uh, so let's just. I'm just going to make some bad moves here for you, um, or for me actually. So I'm just going to move my pawn here. We'll just say you develop your knight. You're attacking the center here. You're getting closer to castling. And then I move my pawn again. Now, if you moved your B pawn two spaces here, mm -hmm. you are skipping the ability to be captured. Because remember, pawns go forward, but they capture on diagonals. Right. So if you try to skip being captured, this turn, 
and this turn only, I can capture you on Passant. So my pawn goes to b6, and your pawn comes off the board. That's fucked up. <laughs> the chess rule, it, you know, and it comes from the French terms in passing. And basically, <laughs> it's so that at the, uh, yeah, there you go, Brian, Brian's on it. Uh, if the pawn tries to skip it, you can capture this turn and this turn only. So if I move my bishop, I cannot do en passant later. And then another quirky rule you may not know is, do you know what happens when pawns reach the end of the board? No. No? no All idea. right. Well, Wait, oh, uh, is that where... <laughs> I might be thinking of checkers. Is that where you get one that can come back on the board? Uh, no, but no, let's okay. just let's just look at it. Um, so let's say you castle. So how about you castle your king right now? I'd love to. Boom, castled. All right, and now I'm going to move my pawn here. Let's just make you make random moves. You move your pawn there. I'm going to take here. I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to take your rook. Now, my pawn has promoted. So I have auto queen on. So when I take a piece, it automatically turns into a queen. But really, I can turn this pawn into a knight, a bishop, a rook, or a queen. Any piece but a king or a pawn. So when Wait, a, pawn, when a so pawn reaches the end of the board yeah. of the opponent, you can turn it into whatever piece you want that is not a pawn or king. And you, uh, I mean, and why wouldn't you always select queen? You would almost always select yeah. a queen, but sometimes, for example, a knight attacks differently than a queen. So, like, maybe promoting to a knight actually leads to checkmate. Um, okay. So, it's almost always a queen or a knight. And that, I mean, that's a massive advantage, right? To introduce a second queen to your stable? Absolutely. To our stable. I love it. My, my Twitch name is Pony Chess because I do intend to stream uh, Zed Racing eventually, too. And so using my language there with the, with the state. How, how many horses do you have? I got, I have three horses. How about yourself? That was a question I had on the list. I have two, but they're, they're, um, they're not good Z scores. Do you, do you have some, uh, some I don't, Clydesdales? Me and my friends went in on a Z4 and that's our highest Z horse. Um, I'm a big believer in Zed racing. The way I see it going, if it works is this thing is going to be all over casinos, all over bars. People are going to be sitting down, getting a drink, watching their racehorse, chucking a bet in the market, and you know it's going to take off. Because it's it's there's not a single person I've told about this that have not been like I'm in. You know, people did get a little wonky when I was at the bars talking about the breeding of the digital horses, but uh, <laughs> maybe I'm moving in the other direction. Everyone's moving to the metaverse. Maybe I'm going to be the old guy at the park playing physical <laughs> chess. Maybe that's what's going to happen to me. Well, happy to help you get there. All right. Well, I think, uh, you know, you got most of the rules here. Uh -oh. I think we should jump into playing some hand and brain. So the way this works is you're going to play a game and I'm going to tell you a piece you must move. So I am the brain and you are the hand. And whatever piece I say, you must move. Now, I'm not going to say move the knight on B1. I'm not going to say move the knight on G1. I'm just going to say like night. So let's practice. Okay. I'll play I'll play black's pieces here. Let me just restart this game. I'll play uh, black's pieces and you play white's pieces. So pawn. Okay. Uh sorry, you said I'm white? Yeah, you're white. So pawn. Okay. Okay, so that's not a good move, but uh Wait, is it that the exact move you started to get the last game with? Oh, remember I moved the e pawn, which allows the the queen and the bishop to get out. Oh, However, God. you move the f pawn, which weakens the king. But I like it. I like it. That's uh, how much confidence I have. It's gonna get crazy. So I moved a pawn, and then for you, I would say like knight. Okay. Um. So I, what what if I mess with that? It, it it doesn't matter. You're you're the hand. You know you you just move what I what I tell you there, and then I could do something like this, and I would say maybe like you know pawn. Okay. Oh, so you're giving me a hint by or telling me which piece I should move. Well, I'm trying to make you make good moves. Whether you do or not is <laughs> is unknown. You know, like that's that's half of the fun of this game. Got you. Okay. Um. So you. You could be uh, very much penetrating me here. Um, I don't know if that's interesting word, chess but... vocabulary word. That I don't think that one's used often on stream. <laughs> that's not a stick. Get it adding to your stable and getting penetrated aren't normal chess terms. No, no, no. Um, I could see you were thinking about the e pawn. 
Yeah. Why? You don't want to move that pawn because then I got to protect lose, this guy. You will lose your queen. Remember, the queen is worth nine and the bishop only worth three. Yeah. Um, but let's just jump into playing. Ho hover over the play button on the left hand side there. Let's see here. Here. Yes. Ho hover over play on the no on the left hand side. Oh yeah. And choose like a a fifteen minute game maybe. So hover over play and click live chess. Oh no, you're on. okay. Perfect. Yeah, just click play there. Okay. Ten minute works. Just click the the orange play button. Uh, where's my orange play button here? It's either on the right hand side there. Oh yeah, yeah. Ten minutes. Yeah. Or you can click the play button. Now is this matching me up with someone? It, you're, we're gonna be playing someone online together. Yes. Okay. So we're. Uh, I got you. All right, we're playing this dude, Enten Dejale. Where and you all right, there we go. All right. Yeah. All right, so, uh, pawn. And remember, we only have 10 minutes. Running out of time is the same thing as being checkmated. Okay. All right, I'm um, going to bring you over to my main screen here so I can. So, pawn. Pawn. You're, you're white, so make a move. I did. You might be delayed because I okay, made wait, it. I, no, I grabbed the wrong one over. There we go. Grab the YouTube over. All right. It's on the board. Starting with the English opening. Yes. Um, you know, I'm kind of sick of, you know, I don't call them French fries. I call them freedom fries. And when I play chess, I want to do an English opening. Okay, knight. Okay, I am going to do a knight here. Um, is this going to be a quick game? Am I going to get absolutely You're playing great here? right now, you know, but... Uh... We'll see how that... Okay, so... I'm not going to get bodied by King Henry here. We uh, don't really like uh, our opponent's move because they say knights on the rim are dim. Um, how about... What does that mean? Knights on the rim are dim. You know, like if you imagine a light bulb above your head, you want that bright, you know, bright colors. You don't want that dim, you know, off. Yeah. Um, let's say for you, pawn. And this is where it's going to get interesting because I'm not sure what you're going to do. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> I mean, I literally, I am literally just clicking buttons. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, you, you know, usually we don't want to move our, uh, <laughs> we don't want to move our H pawn there, but uh, I like it. We're storming here. Yeah, I mean, so tell me what this this clock means. Like the game is just over. So the clock was made to make the game fair, to make sure that uh, someone couldn't spend four hours while another person spends five seconds. Um, so if you run out of time, you lose the game. Okay. Uh, all right, knight. All right, knight. Now, which knight is the question? Um, I mean, we didn't get to this in my lesson. I meant to say this, but... You know, the, the lesson was pretty light. Okay, so uh, we don't want to move a piece more than once. Remember, we got to get our whole army out onto the chessboard. And so, however, knight. Now look at the board, Pete. All right. Is this cheating to hover and to see my options so I don't no, have to? No, I'll, I'll, I'll have a good poker face. I won't, I won't do this anymore. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Tick tock goes the clock, Pete. Okay, that was, uh, I said that night because that night was being attacked. However, they can just take our knight on C6 with their pawn. Remember, pawns attack. Okay, um, I got greedy. I was going in. All right. Good move. Uh, all right. They, they got us there. <laughs> one, one for them. Uh, pawn. I love the chat is going to get extremely tilted by my play. Get your own YouTube stream in chess lesson, uh, or you could play me uh, after here. I'm trying to learn, guys. Um, it's, it's I'm an experiential the, learner. Yeah, it's about the community and the experience here, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we are running low on clock, though, so pawn. Okay, pawn. Uh, we want to get the troops out, you said. Boom. All right, now we can move our bishop. So, you know, your productive move. We are losing, though. We gotta, we gotta get back our uh, a blunder. Yeah, <laughs> like, like the, the chat is shouting out to me moves here. Um, um, bishop. Okay, bishop. All right, I only have one bishop that can move. That's why I said that. C can't make a bad move. Now, which to which extent, bishop? That is the question. Well, uh, if you think back to our lesson, you might get a hint there. 
I want to keep this protected. Well, we d no, you chose the right square, and that's because you didn't want to block your center pawn. Gotcha. Um, pawn? Should I just take this bad boy out? I don't know. You're the hand. <laughs> We're doing great. I'm feeling pretty good. So this guy, he's he's going to take me pawn. out, and then I'm going to just take him out. Boom. Now this guy is yes, shaking in his boat. He has no clue the kind of instruction I'm mm, getting right now. Night. Night. Night, night, night. I already lost one night. We're going to go there. Um, you know, Ooh. okay. That, they could have taken our pawn on G2, but uh, I was just thinking they wouldn't see that. How about king? King. Okay. Is this uh, this the, the classic... Is it the French move? No, we're just castling. No, we're castling. There we go. Getting our king tucked in the corner. Suck it, haters. I just castled <laughs> on my own. We're doing great. We're doing great. We just got to get the rest of our pieces out here. All right, how about pawn? Okay. Um, Look at our pieces. Think about, think about what's not out there. We need to keep charging our pawns. That No one said that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay a terrible move i, I scared his knight away uh, works um pawn i'm gonna keep saying pawn until we get uh no we want to we think about which of our minor pieces our knights or bishops hasn't moved yet mm -hmm. and i'm trying to make you move a pawn so that we can move that piece so okay i see little, i pick up what you there down. Pawn. Okay. We want to get this guy out. Boom. That's great. Now we can move our other bishop next turn. Yes. Let's see what this guy does here. You know, the, the, this position is kind of crazy. We are uh, almost half the clock, though. So I would. Oh, I see what you're saying. A rule for hand and brain is I would say once we hit the one minute mark. No more me speaking. It's just you making moves. Oh, that sounds scary. It sounds uh, very scary. Bishop. <laughs> Draco likes your patience, uh, and I agree. Although it'd be really weird if you came on and didn't have patience, and you're just like, what the fuck, dude? Like, what are you stuck at this? <laughs> I thought you'd be good. <laughs> um, okay, Bishop. Um, wow, a pre-move by our opponent here. Um, wow, so he loaded that up no matter what I did? Yeah, you can you can pre-move in, in chess. I don't think it's turned on for you. No, we're saying we're going to say bishop. We're saying bishop. Okay, we're staying bishop here. Um, wow. Um, <laughs> Absolutely, Corey, I am. <laughs> Why is it my... Oh, wow, and another pre-move by them. How about uh, bishop again? Come on, Pete. Let me see my options. <laughs> no! Damn it! Why did, I, why did I do that? We could we could have taken their bishop for free. We got a uh, long way to go till our chess grandmaster. We're still in there. We're still in it. Pawn. 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 Okay. Think of our our captures. Okay, not the best piece we could have captured there, but a capture. Oh, uh, bishop, queen. queen? queen oh baby now we're just hoping they don't see that their bishop can capture back you know at the 400 level um anything can go what what level am i right now like if i had a number what would i would i be in my honest number it's hard to say uh, uh, bishop, bishop bishop <laughs> i would i would guess in the uh the 200 range that's maybe seems generous uh bishop 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 well we only have one of those left um okay oh we you wanted to do it last time you could have taken that night uh bishop look at the yeah my guy seeing the free pieces dude i have a killer instinct <laughs> Okay, all right. So we're only down two points of material here. How about Rook? Rook. Rook. Hmm. This could go bad. This could go good. Probably going to go bad. 
see that doesn't seem like it opens up. Maybe, maybe I want to come jam his knight here. I like the move. Eric saying, Pete, how can I scoop you up? <laughs> I, 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 I literally told you guys that you would be tilted. I the last time I played chess, I was like 12 years old. I literally do not know what I'm doing. He's doing great. He's doing great. And our lesson was very short. Um, okay. Knight. Knight. Okay. Let's see here. Checks captures threats. What is? What did you just say? Checks? checks. Checks captures threats. Those are like the thinking process. What does checks mean? A uh, check is when you attack the king. Okay. So, like it's like less than a checkmate. All but right. I don't see any it's checks here, but I do. Oh, okay. So we could have taken that knight. I just heard that I needed to attack the king, so I started moving in that direction. I want you to not, you know, I want you to look at the board, not necessarily try to read into what I'm saying. Trust yourself. This this is just the first game. Okay, uh, Rook. What if I... Should I charge the castle? You should make the best move you can do here. Not a great move because their knight can take our rook here. However, our other rook could have taken their knight on a4. I don't know if I can draw arrows on your game. I don't think I can. That would probably scare Enton if all of a sudden <laughs> you, you logged into the chess master setting. <laughs> All right, but we just don't know. This is an uh, evergreen comment. Just write this after every single move I make. Okay, how about Rook? Rook, play the best. Yeah, play. I'm just going to. Boom, with the attack. It. Look at that. And a fork, hitting the bishop, hitting the king. Mogul moves right there. All right, Rook. Rook, I mean, Rook for a Rook? You just got a free Rook. Look at this. You You are winning. We're we're at two minutes on the clock though. Remember, a road to a thousand Elo series could be five years of content. <laughs> Corey, that is a genius idea. <laughs> Something a lot. Uh, how about Bishop? <laughs> yeah, taking all that free stuff. Uh, is collapsing under the clock here. What do you, he's played a valiant game. Um, yeah, so something a lot of streamers do is they do like a road to 2,000, a road to 1,500. It's like a bankroll challenge for... Yeah, challenge. exactly, yeah. Uh, how about Rook? But it would just be, you know, like you trying to get you to 1,000. <laughs> we, we are up four points of material here, so we are crushing this game. I'm really curious what's going to happen. Well, actually, let's say you're going to take the, the range when it gets to a minute 30, and it's just going to be all Pete then. Would you say I'm one of your most precocious 33-year-old students you've ever had? <laughs> the, the most <laughs> promising 33-year-old student I've had to date. <laughs> I feel like if I just turned off the chat right now too, I could even be more focused, but I'm seeing the needles that these guys are giving me, and I'm trying to balance it. Uh, how about Bishop? Bishop, bishop, bishop. Yeah, the king's attacking it, so that's why we're moving it. Okay. Um, let's see here. There's only there's only so many. Uh, okay, not the best square, but the knight can take it. But oh, I missed there. that. I missed the knight there. Yep. Um, rook. We have two rooks. Now the knight can take our rook. We're, we're falling apart here. I just was setting it up on a T for this guy. Rook, rook. Could have taken their knight, but we'll get that guy next time. Wow. The the knight is apparently a blind spot. Rook. All right. And uh, now it's a minute 40, 10 seconds until it's all you. And this is anyone's game at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, Chris geez. <laughs> we thank you for the support, Chris. <laughs> this is the thing. Once you built me up and said I was going to run away with it, I needed to build some drama. There you go. Okay, how about uh, King? King. And remember, we don't want uh, we don't want them to their pawn to get to the end of the board because then they can get another queen. I call. Have you ever heard about cozy kings in the corner? Well, that not anymore. <laughs> now we need him to be a fighter. It's all you now. Minute thirty on the clock. No a minute more. thirty. No, no more help from me. 
I will. You God. need to move quick, though. So that's my only. Uh, I'll just remind you on clock. This is so scary. Okay, we spent ten percent of our clock on that move. Uh, it's you again. Oh no! Look at what they're doing. My only, my only help there. All right, attacking the king. Should I, should I announce this one? We got Pete Overzet in his first game of his life playing against N10 Dejali from France. A minute on the clock. Can oh, no. he pull it off? I don't like his chances. <laughs> Black is pushing their pawns down the board. Can White do anything about it? He has hidden his king in the corner. And oh no, on Passat can hit the board if Black sees it. No, on contraire. He does not know. <laughs> Did he miss it? He, he missed it. It's over. No more opposite. So you, got, you have 50 seconds, though. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I feel so helpless. This I can't believe I gave up those, it those three nights in a row were brutal. Yeah, though, you know, well, something to, you know, you can't start at the top here. Oh, could be anyone's game now. I like your I like your odds. You like my odds? It depends on the move you make. That's not it. Damn it. <laughs> 30 seconds on the clock, Pete. You got to blitz these moves out. Okay. I'm trying to blitz. I can't do anything with any of these. I just feel <laughs> like my rook is just going back and forth. I don't know what to do. Try to get a pawn to the end of the board. But can't I'm screwed with either of these, right? Your, your rook can capture things. You got 10 seconds. You just got to move. That was a good move. So I just have to move quickly. It doesn't matter because I, I have fast. no time. Yeah. Try, okay. And your, king, your king's in check, so you got to move your king. All right, we got to turn on some settings for you to allow pre-moves. Try, try moving your rook right now. And try, yeah. So pre pre moves is turned off for you. We'll get that turned on. Although honestly, I don't know if we want. This to. is so stressful. Two point three <laughs> shot clock. You got you got to move. You got to oh. move. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So that was a good start. Um, some less <laughs> offer a draw. <laughs> that, that we would say that's bad uh, etiquette there, Greg. We, you're not supposed to offer a draw when you clearly <laughs> lost. <laughs> Um, so, okay. Some things to go from there. We got to look at where our opponent's pieces are attacking. I would mm. say that was a bit of a blind that was spot. A huge blind spot. And uh, a little bit of clock management, which, you know, that's going to be difficult for anyone. I would say 10 minutes is a bit short for what we're doing too. Um, and how about we get a, a question from, from you? How, why are you only on the YouTubes? Why, why no Twitch or anything for such a, uh, a media superstar? I, I I don't like Twitch and Twitch also right now, just from like a streaming strat is it's impossible to get organic growth on there. Um, unless you're doing like big time collabs or have like a big time following somewhere else to help push there. So it's just YouTube, you get the benefit of all the SEO and the organic growth and stuff. Um, so I was just like, I'll just devote all my time to, to YouTube and not mess, mess around with Twitch. There you go. I'm gonna. I plan on doing both myself, but I just set yeah. up the Twitch first. Um, how about? Do you have an actual job other than announcing? And do you want to tell the people what that is? Wait, what's that? Are you Are you asking me? Yeah, uh, I'm asking my, you. what my day job is. Yeah. Uh, well, it's not going to be my day job much longer. Uh, I'm going to be doing uh, this stuff, whatever. If you're watching, you're Pete's boss. Turn it <laughs> off. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. They already know. Um, but yeah, no. I work at uh, a marketing company and do a. Uh, Marketing for a software company. Well, that makes um, a lot of sense why your marketing so electric. But now I do want to transition into being a full-time chess grandmaster. Well, <laughs> we're on the way up. And how about who's been your favorite guest you've had on today? Mm. And if you don't want to pick a favorite, you can just give me like the top three or something. I mean, we on Club Top Shot, we had Ja Rule on and he just I like bet. hung out with us for an that hour That was my and favorite half. episode. Yeah. Yeah. That was uh, that was full. That was very fun. I, pl I plan to jaw rule myself later today. Um, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I'm gonna need it to just kind of de-stress after. I mean, I don't think people realize the stress that comes with playing a new thing and being told, like, gi be given a hint, 
in still knowing you're about to mess it up. That's what I'm dealing with right now. Well, and it's also, um, I don't like, you know, an article came out and, you know, when I play chess tournaments, some of the tournaments I play, the games can last six hours and you play more than one in a day. So like I've played two six hour games in a day and your body's going through fight and flight that whole time. Right. Um, and you know, they, they've, an article came out and it was like grandmasters can lose as many calories as like a marathon runner in, in just playing a chess just game. Just like by clenching basically. It's just like, no, it's just like the, th like, cause you're in continuous, you, you think on the opponent's move, you think on your moves, you were literally just, you were exhausted after these things. It is yes. utterly exhausting. Yes. It is. And so how, um, like what, do you have personal goals right now or various stages you're trying to reach within the uh, the chess world? Are you more a hobbyist at this point? I mean, I was a coach and I was strong enough to, you know, coach very strong kids. I might make a push to try to reach master, which like I'm about 2000 and that would be 2200. I don't see myself ever trying to go past that. And I don't even know if I'll go for master. Chess is pretty exponential where, um, you know, it takes a little bit of time to get better. But then it's a serious time sink to get really good. Um, you know, for example, I've played chess with, or I played poker with a chess player who was top 100 in the country rating. That person cannot make money playing chess. Wow. They, they can coach it, you know, but you need to be elite to like, you know, make, there's no monetary reward for being like, congrats, you're a grandmaster, you know? <laughs> Hasn't there been a bit, I've noticed just from following Twitter, a decent amount of poker and chess overlap. Isn't Mike McDonald pretty into it these days? Yeah, there's a big overlap. There's been a lot of uh, people that were good at chess that then got into poker. And, you know, like I, I it's a strategic game and I understand. That, I mean, I like poker a lot myself um, and obviously I like chess. So there's, there's a big overlap there. Nice. So what, yeah, I mean, what kind of, if say I get the bug here and I want to go in the lab, what's the best way to learn as opposed to like, I'm sure I could just hop into games and just trial and error, like learning stuff or for a, a true beginner, is it better to actually study versus trial by fire? So if you want to get good at chess, and I mean, I work for chesskid.com, but literally when adults ask me, I create them a chess kid account um, because the learning tools there are amazing. And really what chess is, is it's like, it's 99% your tactical ability. So click that puzzles button on the left-hand side there. Yeah. And just click puzzles. There you go. And just uh, click the, the top one, the puzzles, and click start. So these are chess puzzles. And oh, okay. It's literally just, it gives you a position and asks you what the best move is. I would have my students do at least a hundred of these a week. My one year I had a kid do 20,000 puzzles in a year. There's no mystery why that kid got good at chess, right? Wow. The, the idea is, and the thought process for any puzzle should be, what are my checks? What are my captures? What are my threats? If you keep thinking about these in every puzzle you do, that will bleed over into your chess game. Chess is a game of pattern recognition. Um, so the more you do it, the better you get. So yeah, the answer here, well, what do you think the answer is? Don't look at the chat. So it, so for this puzzle, is it is it just one move that we're it, trying to it, look at? It depends. It, it for you you are playing the white pieces. So you are you are trying to win the game as white. You're okay. trying to make the best move. That could be a checkmate. That could be um what and why is this yellow here? That was the pawn was that was what black just did. Their okay, they just moved. moved it for. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Um, I feel like I'm trying, I, in this board, don't I want to get my pawn to the end of the board to convert it? Exactly. That's, and that's the answer here. So you would push your pawn up. Their king is too far away. So you just keep going. Just keep going to get my. And, and then you got your puzzle, right? And then you can click that, that green arrow there and you can do another puzzle. 19,999 more to go. <laughs> so like there'd be another one here. Let's see here. Um, I need to reorient. I'm still Guess white you here. Board here. And he he was just here and then kind of retreated. Yep, that was what their move was. Okay. Um, and is it like in, in the learning streets, is it unethical for me to click all these to quickly visualize where my... I feel uh, like I want to take I would it. say no. I would say you can even draw arrows if you wish, mm. which, you, which you can right-click and hold to do. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. 
Well, you, just accidentally, you just accidentally got a checkmate. It's better to be lucky than good, Pete. Better to be <laughs> lucky than good. I was going to take out the rook, and I got an accidental checkmate. Well, so, yeah, and you, the, the, the king is in checkmate, so you won. That's, that's amazing. Um, all right, should we jump into doing another hand and brain? Yeah. And, and then the, 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 the chat wants us to do a post-match analysis, which I think would be fun. So let's okay. do another hand and brain, and then we can analyze the game. Okay. Oops, I accidentally hit one more. Uh, let's see here. You, you can either solve it or... I mean, now that I'm... Now yeah, that yeah, I'm yeah. Black. Do it, do it. Okay, so I'm black now. All right, they yeah, flipped so it So check, checks captures threats, and obviously, you know... I need what... to understand this better again, this checks, because I like the idea of a mental model for me to run through here. So, like, the first thing I would have my students do and what you should do is you should literally look at every single check you can do to the opponent's king. Okay. That's the first – because if you get checkmate, the game is over. Yep. Pete's subconscious is a 1,400 player. My bits <laughs> clicks. I'm, I'm a... <laughs> um, okay, so I'm looking at the king here. You're looking at checks to their king, right? To their king. So do you see any? If not, I, I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't see any checks to their king. Well, let's look a little harder. Okay. What? We're, sorry, we're, I. We're black. Bad. I was thinking I was white again. We're black. We're black. Yeah. Here. Okay. Um, I see a check. Is that a good check? What do you think? I don't see. Try to try to think before you move the piece. Like try to visualize in your head. I'm trying to visualize. If I drop the piece here, I get that sweet, sweet release, and I'm put out of my misery of having to think <laughs> that intensely dopamine about hits this. your brain right away. <laughs> I don't see anything bad that would happen to my queen here if I did what this. What about something good? I think I probably have them checkmated. Is what I just realized. Is that a probably or a definite? It's a correct. Yeah, you. That's a checkmate right there. <laughs> um, We're good. All right, let's 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 jump into another game here. We're going to be playing against a 200-level player here, so we'll see how it goes. Um, so, again, just hover over the play button on the left-hand side and click Live Chess. Live Chess. Live Chess there. And then you can just click that orange button. Yep. All right, we're going to 10-minute game. Okay. I don't want another French. Right, we got the black pieces this time. Let's see how this goes. Again, at a minute third. Wow. Okay. Starting off with B4, the orangutan. Uh, pawn. Uh, okay. Pawn. Um, <laughs> that's, that's not, not a good move. <laughs> um, oh, no. Fall back on our lesson, Pete. Remember, control I the I thought center. I was mirroring. I thought that was good. No, we don't want to copy. Uh, pawn. Okay. We defended our pawn that was attacked. It's progress. I'm now, I'm now thinking a half a move ahead. There you go. <laughs> Pawn. Corey's Pawn. asking Liam, could you beat Pete in 15 seconds? Absolutely, I could. We could try that. Not if I sit on the clock. Well, no, it'd be it'd be, <laughs> it'd be, it'd be, it'd be my clock. <laughs> um Pawn. Okay. Yeah, there we go. We got a knight. Seeing our captures. So this guy's a 218. You think we're pretty well, comparable? I don't well right now. Uh, okay. How about knight? The knight. That's dot, 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 progress. <laughs> Remember, knights on the rim, what do we say about those? Knights on the rim are always dim. Yeah, dim. Not a good idea. So Shit. I need to I need to put up all these little post-it notes. All these all little, these, yeah, I can send you the motivational quotes I have. <laughs> all these cute little chest phrases you guys have. Um, how about pawn? Pawn? We are, we are black. That's <laughs> what? <laughs> is this a way? Do I want to sacrifice there? Well, a trade is not a sacrifice. A trade is a trade. Okay. That was a fine move. I, you know, also remember we got to prioritize getting our pieces out. How about knight? Okay. Hot indoor chess summer. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's 80 degrees out, and I'm learning how to play chess. Um, hope that's all right. 
I didn't want to put him on the rim. That was a great move. That was because it would have been too dim. There you go. Best Nights move. in the light, baby. Nights in the not, not a not a rhyme. How about a uh, pawn? Okay, pawn, pawn. No, we got to get our guys out. Yeah, now they we're wanna, thinking. They want to play. Okay, not a great move because their queen could take that. However, they didn't. Um, how about bishop? And we'll see what happens here. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay. Doing much better on the clock, by the way. That's a good, you're checking the king and you're hitting their bishop. Knight. Oh, yeah. Bye-bye. There you go. Now, oh, I see the moves I want to do here. Well, okay, <laughs> slow down. So I don't know if I do. I want to uh, take out this pawn and check the king. Okay, knight. Now their queen's gonna take us. Shit. No, well, I was trying to save our knight, but I knew <laughs> I knew what you were gonna do. I uh, wanted to charge the castle. How about king? All right. Ooh, we're setting up the old. Oh no, we wanted a castle. You just moved one space. Oh, can I still castle? No, disaster is struck. <laughs> is castling just off the table for the rest of the game? You, yeah, you move your king, no longer allowed. Um, but we can castle the hard way. We can castle the hard way, though. Uh, how do you how about, castle the hard way? Well, you gotta you like you're gonna move your pawn up. We're gonna put our king there. Then we're gonna move our rook. So how about pawn? That's not castling the hard way. Hang on, I I missed the castling instructions. I was tilting like, you know, kind of against the spirit of hand and brain, but uh, just to, just to explain, like you can move your G pawn or your H pawn, and mm -hmm. then we're just going to put our King there and then you can move your Rook and then you can bring your King back. Okay. Manually castling. There you go. I see what you're saying. Jared would like to invest in Pete's chess career. Yeah. Let's get an odds game against you versus uh, another one of your, you know, longtime <laughs> guests here. The funny thing is, is I don't even recognize half of these names. I feel like a bunch of people who don't watch any of the DFS stuff came out to uh, to watch chess today. <laughs> uh, King. So we're doing the manual castling? Well, but remember, we wanted the rook to get out. So if you had moved your king to g7, king. So we're taking more turns than we need to to do this, but we're still in this and we're winning. Uh, Rook, uh, we can do the, 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 the chat wants the 15 second match after this. We can do that. Uh, I mean, it'll be a four hour match if I have anything to say about it. Um, how about night? I feel like you versus Jack or you versus Adam would be a close game or <laughs> I, I have no idea. of everyone. I will only agree to a match with Jack if I'm better than him. I absolutely refuse otherwise. Rook. Rook, Rook, Rook. Well, is, is Jack from New York City? Because if so, you know, New York City is a chess mecca, so. The queen, what kind of gambit could his, is this too risky? That's not, for, you're checking the king. There we go. Okay. The king must move. Um, how about knight? Hmm. Another checking the king, but then the pawn can take it. There we go. We're starting to learn. So I need to retreat, and it's dim on the rim. Boom. We're making great moves. Look at this progress we've made here. Suck it, chat. I'll take you all. $100 a game. Let's go. <laughs> um, Rook. Um... Continue to check the king. Some, when you're winning in chess, trading pieces is good. And when you're losing, you don't want to trade. So that's something to keep in mind, too. The staring, the staring at the ceiling really help. Uh, Rook, no, but it's just something that, like, I do it myself even when you're, like, really thinking. You can, because when you're good at chess, you can see the chess board. Like, I can play chess without looking at the board. Um, I'm not the best at it, but... Is you just kind of like you see the position and you're thinking through the moves in your head. So I just want to protect this rook from getting canned, I believe. Okay. Well, I would have traded your rook because you're winning. Trade it. Okay. But that's fine. It's a fine move that you're doing here. 
moving your pieces back and forth. Uh, pawn. Hmm. Oh, yeah, because then I will trade that pawn. No. No, that was not the move I wanted, but uh, no? it's a it's a move. It's a move. We're on the board there. There's one thing you can Bishop. say about Bishop. No. There we go. Look at this. If it's free, it's for me. Is this another one of these? How many of these phrases do you guys have? You know, I taught kids, Pete. When you teach a classroom full of 45-year-olds, you got to be electric. <laughs> uh, Bishop. All right. Are we just taking this out? Yeah, that was a great move because a bishop is worth three points and a rook five. Uh, okay. So how about let's... rook? Rook. Rook. A lot of this seems dangerous with the rook. Not a good move because now their bishop can take our rook. But if we had put the rook on d5, you would have pinned the bishop to the king. How about rook again? I feel like I can take out this pawn without any risk. Okay. Rook d5 again was a good move, but that's a that's a fine move seeing free things. Wow, he is just absolutely paralyzed. <laughs> So, okay, so we're finding you're not quite a 400 player. You're not quite a 200 player. Although this game's not over yet. About, I I still would probably take the under on 200 for me. How about queen? Queen. Well, I am curious what moves you would do with no uh, brain telling you what to do. Oh, I am very curious as well. Um, This queen... Um, hmm... Okay. There we go. She's getting on the board. She's being developed. I'm not looking at the chat. I refuse to be distracted by whatever you assholes are saying yeah. right now. Yeah, no, no, I, no helpful moves. <laughs> there's only two places I look. Three places. The board into Liam's eyes and on the ceiling. There you the go. Uh, night. The night. The night. I kind of have like a two-step plan here. I'm not sure if you're seeing that deep though. Oh, I promise you I do not see whatever your plan is right now. Well, you might, you know. M uh, might by accident. I don't want to send you to the rim because it's dim, which means, and I can't send you here. I guess I must send you here. That's a fine move. And th the knight cannot never go to the rim. You know, sometimes it goes there to do a tactical mission. Mm-hmm. That might be outside of my purview right now. <laughs> Let's uh, say knight again and see what happens. Okay. Um, we could check the king, but I just gave myself up. To yeah, that was not the square we wanted there, but... What's I the highest Z horse you have? He's probably talking to you. Oh, you won. He quit. Yeah, that's what happens. Click. When someone is making moves in such confidence, <laughs> you wave the white flag. Click the uh, click the analyze button. Let's on see. The, on the right there. Yeah. Let's click that. Oh, hang on. I got to do it. Popped it up in a new window. One sec. And let's look through this game together. Okay. Okay. So, uh, and then just click the arrows on the bottom to go through your moves. Uh, gotcha. There you go. Okay. So not a great move because you're not attacking the center. You are letting your bishop get out though, but okay. So, okay. A terrible move by them. They attacked the pawn <laughs> and then you made a move to defend the pawn. Again, uh, C6, not a great move. Because you're like you probably want to put your bishop on b7, and you're blocking where your bishop can go, but not terrible. Keep going. Hang on, real quick. What are these? Are these numbers showing like the expected value of the move or something? Yeah. So uh, this is the engine, 
And, you know, like the engine on your cell phone is better than Magnus Carlsen at chess now. That's how good they are. Um, and so zero would mean the game is a draw. If it's minus one, that means it likes black by a pawn worth of material. If it's plus one, it means it likes white by a pawn worth of material. Gotcha. Okay, so terrible by them. And you saw that. You took. Right? They, they don't know their captures. Keep going. Okay, that's terrible too. What's their bishop doing there, right? Not great by you. What's your knight doing there? Dim to the rim. What was I Yeah, thinking? dim to the rim. We won the other night. Okay, that's terrible because does that pawn allow a new piece to get out? No. Then you traded, which is fine. Keep going. Okay, you developed a piece and you attacked the center. Awesome. Okay, they moved their queen. But notice when they move their queen, they're stopping their bishop from getting out. So right. they're li literally slowing their development. Keep going. Okay, that's a terrible move because their queen could take it. Yeah. And, and check your king. Yes. So you're giving away it for free. Okay, they don't see it. Keep going. Let's just get to... Th that's a great move. Trading the tempo there because you're winning. You took it back. They made a move. They're hitting your knight. Now you gave it away. That was bad. That was bad. You could have retreated it, but then they took it. And now here we wanted you to castle, but you just moved your king one space. Yeah, this was uh, this was a castle fail. Yeah, not good. Um, all right, well let's let's play a game together. Then we went on this fun journey. Yeah, we went on this. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, what what journey are we gonna go on? We're gonna we're gonna play a game together. I think the people want us to to challenge each other. Yeah. So if you go into play and then just click live chess, I'll send you a challenge. Okay. I also want to just say um, that hour went by incredibly fast. Like, I, know, I know faster than a lot of streams I've done. So uh, I think I was more engrossed than I even imagined. Well, and, you know, we're playing a 10 minute game, which can last max 20 minutes, but it, it does go quick when you're playing chess. Um, okay. I don't know how to send you. Last time you sent me one, I think it like popped up down here yeah I'm, I'm just wondering if i can send you one where i i know this is possible i just don't know how to do it myself uh i can send you an odds game which will basically just give me a queen and give you the whole chessboard but i don't know if that's i think, I think people want to watch you crush me as fast as possible all right so we'll play a three minute game but if i lose if my clock goes below 245 i lose okay and and uh so let me just say that I'm going to play as white. Okay. Let me bring this on the main screen. Oh, it says you're not currently in live chess. So just click the hover over play and click live chess. Oh yeah. <laughs> no mercy. A lot of pressure guys. Play a friend, Peter of rating unrated. Do you guys have promo codes for chess.com? If I send some people your direction, um, you know, chess.com is pretty big now, so I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here you are. What's it? What's that photo of you on Twitter? Like you look very dressed up like you're in a chess match. That's uh, my student won a, re a reward. So you have the full clock here. And if my clock goes below 245, I lose. You got to make a move though. Oh, okay. Uh, the, are you seeing it? Click the play yeah. button. Yeah. I panicked. Oh, I did too. I was I wasn't expecting that from you. It's hard to know what to expect from me. Uh, yeah. So that was my student won an award called the Feinberg Award, and um, that was me shaking her hand. But obviously, I didn't want to put God damn her man. face on on the uh, on Twitter. Nice castle. <laughs> Thanks. We got 10 seconds here. Uh-oh. No. I see what you're doing, and I don't like it. No. I don't know what to do. This seems bad. <laughs> It's not this, good. This is real bad. <laughs> God, I hate this. 
Uh, I'm sweating. I'm not sweating, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> so the time is just on your side, right? Or uh, well, if you run out of time, you also lose. But I have eight seconds. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. No. What sweet hell is this? <laughs> My brain can't process this right now. Are these pre moves? Um, no, I am waiting a little bit, but I'm I'm hovering over the squares where to put my pieces, pretty much. Okay. You've lost your queen, which is not good. Oh, I'm checkmated. No, you, you you're not checkmated yet, but you did lose your queen. Well, why it wouldn't let me do a move, and then it like started flashing me red. You're, you're in check, so you got you got to make a move to get out of check. No, I can't do that. This is bad. This is real bad. <laughs> what do we do? You might be the one that's gonna lose on time. <laughs> The king is charging. Oh, this seems real bad. God damn it. This seems awful. I Do I have anywhere to go? <laughs> Close wow. one. So wait, you beat me in 11 seconds? 11, yeah. And what was the line? 15 seconds? It was 15, yeah. So I just needed to hold on for 15 just more seconds. need to hold on. Just need to hold on. Um. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was terrifying and stressful for me. Because I felt, what, how, what if I didn't have a clock? Is well, that even possible to set that up? I think we could set that up. Um, yeah, I, I've had some friends that, have gambled chess with me and when i was like pretty drunk and it, it never turned out well with them really yeah when i was in college i'd be like how about i have a minute and you have 15 minutes and people <laughs> would be like easy <laughs> yeah still would turn out well yeah yeah no well um, um yes i now i've i'm feeling very motivated to get into the lab here and uh start plugging leaks what what would you say what are what are the next steps for me just running those puzzles i would say yeah like you know play a game a day or something like that you know find a time the, the slower the time control the better it's going to be for you so maybe yeah. like 15 minutes yeah um definitely do like at least a couple puzzles a day it's not it's not a big time commitment and then something I think would be fun if you are interested is I think it'd be fun for me to train a couple of the other guys and then you guys can play hand and brain together and I can help ref, or ref it or whatever. Or we could just have a tournament between you guys. So you would, you would hand and brain both sides? Basically? Oh, no, no. I would like, I, you know, I would just be there to ref. But I, I think, you know, everyone maybe gets a lesson from me. I would teach, you know, you choose, maybe we do a tournament of four people, whatever you want to do. I'll teach them a lesson. Then we come together and it can be a tournament and that you guys can gamble on it if you want. I think a great addition to the gambling Olympics though, a little yeah. bit of the, the mental, mental prowess. Yeah. Um, I like that. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to the club guys as well, see what they're up for. And, um, yeah, even at the very least, I think we could, uh, we could do another, uh, lesson here. See if I've progressed at all. Uh, or <laughs> yeah, the road to a thousand ELO. <laughs> um, yeah. So you're you're in here in the chess system at 1875 is your ranking. That in here. was my yeah. There's different ratings. That's my blitz rating, which is down right now. I'm usually around like 19, 2000. And blitz um, is the speed chess. Blitz is below five minutes, and um, bullet chess is is a minute. Okay. And, and then rapid chess is like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, something like that. Did I see like, is there kind of a debate in the chess community? What's the like purest form of that or how you crown like who's the best at chess based on what format? I am personally the best at slow chess. So like, you know, like my best format is like, you know, each person has three hours. Um, are you are you being sarcastic or that's actually your best format? No, that's that. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not good at blitz and bullet, like comparative to my. Like, okay. I, 
like to my slow chess prowess. And personally, I think, you know, whoever's the best at slow chess is the best at chess. Yeah. Um, with the, you know, with streaming and everything, most people are playing Blitz and Bullet there just because it's a more suited format for, you know, online. And some people do think that, well, you should be good at fast chess if you're good at slow chess. Magnus Carlsen just happens to be the best at Bullet, Blitz, and slow chess. So, yeah. like, that is, like, you know, the world number two is not good at Blitz, Bullet, and Rapid, but Magnus is. And for the chess streamers, are, is it normally just one guy talking and playing against random people, or do you ever have, like, two people like us playing on on the streams? You know, it's a lot of different things. Sometimes it would be, and I'll be doing this myself. I'm going to be doing, you know, just playing and, like, trying to teach. But personally, like, you know, for my channel, what I think I'm going to be doing a lot is, like, having guests on and teaching them lessons. And, you know, because most of the people watching chess and why – it's kind of difficult for chess to ever be on like TV or something is you have to be a certain ability to even watch it or even understand what's going on. Yeah. Um, so I just think making content for beginners mm -hmm. is both going to be fun and exciting. Um, you guys can check me out pony chess on Twitch. Also going to make a YouTube channel just starting here. Um, yeah, I'm posting, um, Liam's Twitter here in the uh, in the chat, and then uh, on his Twitter he has a link to uh, his Twitch page as well, which I'll add to uh, the link below. And uh, yeah, we'll have to. Uh, I think this would be a fun uh, recurring thing to come back to. Anytime you want to get a lesson, I'm in for it. And we'll actually give you if you want to do like a serious longer lesson on stream, we can do that before we jump into playing. Um, well, I mean, if we end up getting some kind of gambling thing with those guys, I mean, we're going to be doing private lessons. Oh, we're going to be, we're going to be I, in, the, in I, person. I, You're flying me in. <laughs> yeah. I re I refuse to lose to these jabronis. <laughs> well, I mean, and it can be kind of a, uh, we can odds rate it. So, you know, like hmm. you came in at a 200 ability, but if one of them actually has played chess before and like comes in at a thousand, we would need to like weight it either by time, like we did or you can weight it by material. Gotcha. Yeah, it's like a handicap and Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cool. Um well, awesome. This was uh this was a lot of fun. Any anything else uh, other than checking you out on uh twitch.com slash uh, pony chess? No, guys, please uh if you enjoyed, reach out. If you have any uh, good guest suggestions, please let me know. This was a blast. Thank you so much, Pete, taking my, you know, five follower Twitter account DM seriously. Um just getting up started on the Twitters there, so if you want to give me a follow please do and uh, this was a blast yeah i have a pretty good dm radar i get some weird dm it doesn't matter the follower account it's just how it's presented and uh i was immediately uh intrigued by yours so i'm glad you uh reached out this was fun all right man well thank you so much you have a great rest of your day and thank you guys for tuning in all right guys we'll see you next time peace